my second suitcase and I'm just gonna kind of go through what I have in it it's kind of a mess right now just because when I repacked it I just kind of threw stuff in um, to make room so I'm just gonna kind of go through it and show you what I brought I'm gonna start with this <laughs> this was my big floppy hat that I brought with me I used it only a couple of times so in Aruba it is extremely windy which is nice because it kind of helps with the heat but you can't really wear hats like this um, because it'll blow right off so I kind of don't suggest it unless you have uh, the not so pretty looking strap to go around your neck. Um, I feel like even the tie that makes this part tighter didn't help as much. So it was kind of a bummer. I did use it a couple of times just to keep out of the sun when I was lounging. But other than that, it wasn't very practical. Some clothing items that I brought that I put in this suitcase. This suitcase I put my clean clothes, so the ones that I had washed um, or that I just didn't wear. So I brought a pair of jean shorts. I wore these a couple of times. I did have to wash them and they just went with so many different things and I feel like you just really need one when you pack for Aruba because you're gonna need to wear them for some reason. I didn't think I was going to, I almost didn't pack these, but I'm so glad that I did. One of the outfits that I did not wear, which is because I didn't even realize I had this in my suitcase, I kind of forgot about it. Otherwise, I would have worn this because there was a day that I was looking for this and then I was like, oh crap, I didn't bring it, whatever. Um, but, kind of would have been nice, but it's all right. Um, it's a black and white tank with palm leaves on it really cute really soft flowy this would have felt really good on my sunburns um and then i had brought these black shorts kind of like cargo shorts in a way they cinch at the waist and they have some pockets to them so something that i brought that i didn't get to wear but i feel like i would have worn this outfit if i would have essentially found it in my suitcase. But next outfit that I brought I actually really enjoyed and appreciated were these navy shorts with some prints, white prints on the side. They have a tassel tie um, and they're lined at the bottom with some little pom-poms and I wore this with just a very simple white t-shirt and v-neck t-shirt and this was really nice because it had cap sleeves huge huge deal here a lot of things i brought were tanks and they did not have any sort of sleeve so i feel like if i would have um packed knowing this I would have tried to pack more tops with some kind of sleeve some even even if it's just a cap sleeve just to kind of keep my shoulders a little bit more covered when I'm just walking around so this came in handy quite a bit so I did wear those two things together another sleep shirt that is in here on the day that we went horseback riding, I ended up bringing jeans because I didn't want my legs to touch um, anything. Also, we were going through the National Park, which has a lot of cactus and pokey objects, um, uh, natural life in it. So I was really glad that I had these. Um, we went on a sunset uh, horseback riding tour, so I felt like the jeans were okay if it would have been a day thing i feel like the jeans would have been too warm to wear i would probably recommend if you're gonna do the um sunset that jeans would be fine but i only wore them once that was the only occasion that i wore these otherwise i would suggest some leggings um just to kind of protect your legs a little bit out there um, so I did wear a pair of jeans and then with the jeans, uh, it's really wrinkly because I shoved it in there, but I wore this uh, button up here, really colorful, striped uh, top with a collar and this was nice. It was airy. It did kind of, I feel like maybe I should have worn something a little bit tighter on the top but it worked out just fine. I also brought these little footy socks with me because I brought a pair of shoes 
that I wore on the plane um, there and back and I think I might have worn them one other time during the trip but really I probably didn't need to bring them at all. Um, I brought a bunch of these thinking that I might wear them more and I think I only wore two of these so I didn't need to pack as much as I did. I also brought another sarong, this red one, and I honestly didn't even reach for this. I always reached for my blue one, although I wore the blue one so much that it was wet a lot, so I probably should have reached for this one. I don't know why, I just didn't. Probably because that one was already out, but I do suggest if you're going to be wearing it a lot, that two of them, because you gotta let one dry. Um, you know, so I wore it so much that I ended up wearing it wet a lot. Um, so this actually would have came in handy. I don't know why I didn't use it. These were the third pair of pajama bottoms. I brought these shorts. These are a lot softer, thinner, and silkier. So these actually felt really good when I had a sunburn. Um, just some fun kind of tropically print. Last outfit that I brought, I meant to wear this with the jean shorts and I never wore it. Honestly, I probably, if we would have went to another nicer restaurant, would have worn this, but otherwise there wasn't really a time, place, or occasion for this outfit, so I probably didn't need to bring this. Um, so I brought this top here. It's from Altered State. It's got crochet along the trim, and it's, again, this beautiful blue that I love, paisley print. Um, it doesn't cover much um, as far as shoulders go, which is why I feel like it's not very practical. Also, because the side holes do go down so low, you have to wear something underneath or it'll show your bra. So, I did bring this to go underneath just as like a bandeau, black bandeau to go underneath a bit. Again, I never ended up wearing it. I brought this bag here which I filled with all of my jewelry so I put all my jewelry in one place and then I also put each jewelry um, accessories for each day or whatever in these little plastic bags so that they didn't get tangled up when, into each other or get ruined. So the first um, thing in here are these earrings that I did wear. I didn't wear a whole lot of jewelry but I did end up wearing these ones mostly because when you're going in the water, in the ocean, they highly recommend you not wear jewelry. So um, most of the time I was in the ocean, so I just didn't bother doing so. So these are the ones that I brought with me and I did end up wearing. A little necklace here that I thought I was gonna wear with one of my outfits. I tried it on with it when I was there and it just didn't quite look right, so I didn't end up wearing this one. So I did bring this one necklace as well and didn't end up wearing it. Same with these earrings. Another quick tip is I wouldn't recommend packing much jewelry. You probably won't wear it much, maybe to um, a nice dinner or something like that, but you're not gonna wear it on your excursions and you're not gonna wear it on the beach. Or in the pool for that matter. Also brought these that I didn't wear. I brought these bangles because I've never worn these and I actually didn't even wear them on my vacation either. Probably something I'm just gonna pass along because um, like I said, I don't wear them around normally and I didn't wear them for this vacation so there's no point in keeping them. I did bring these earrings here and I actually did wear these. These are one of the jewelry items that I did wear and I thought they were super cute. The only thing is they are big and the wind caught them a lot so um, you could definitely feel them kind of pulling on your ears a little bit and these are super lightweight. So when we did have a fancier dinner to go to and I wore that blue dress with the blue palm leaf um, pattern on them, I wore these earrings here that have the navy blue tassels on them and it was really cute. I also wore the stackable bracelets. I wore them one of the times with my outfit. I did get a chance to wear this ring. It's the only ring that I got to wear uh, and I wore it with those bracelets that I had just shown. I brought this ring with me thinking I was going to wear this one of the days but I just didn't. I actually forgot this would have went really nicely with the outfit that I wore when we went to the fancier restaurant. But I packed my everyday earrings that I always wear and guess what? I didn't wear them. I'm trying to remember. I feel like I did wear these one of the days pretty sure I did. I wore these one of the days with the yellow skirt and the crop top. 
I brought this layered necklace that I also didn't wear and this is where these little baggies come in handy because this would have been a knotted mess in everything if I wouldn't have put it in here. I brought these earrings as well and again I just didn't wear them. Dolphin tail necklace which again I did not get a chance to wear. I think I was gonna wear this one of the days and then it just didn't end up looking good. Last two things I did end up wearing, but I didn't wear them with what I had planned to wear them with. I wore them with something different. So I brought these earrings and wore them actually with the swim top. This necklace and I was gonna wear it with that same outfit. Actually, I think I took it off because it was a bit much afterwards. Another thing I suggest is if you're bringing any jewelry that you don't want to get ruined, bring a bag similar to this just to keep it a little cushioned and separated out. So that is everything in my jewelry bag here. I brought this tripod that we didn't end up using. We brought so many different kind of cameras. We brought used our phone cameras, we used a big camera, and we used a GoPro. I brought a little nail kit. I brought tea bags, which we didn't end up using. The water in Aruba is so good, so clear, so um, just clean. You can literally drink right from the faucet. So I didn't even need tea bags, nothing. My sister didn't need any um, like flavor drops or anything like that. It was really good. I loved the water there and that was the best tasting water I've ever had. And now coming home, the water is just kind of like, eh. So anyway, the water's good. You don't have to worry about that. It's safe, it's clean, it's delicious. And you don't have to worry about really where you're getting it from. You can get it from the faucet, whatever you want. Um, so yeah, just something to note. The water is excellent. I brought this little coin purse thinking that I might need this for like the bus because we used the bus for our transportation almost the whole time. It was just fine. I felt like it worked um, better than getting a taxi and stuff like that. It was pretty inexpensive comparatively to other forms of transportation. You actually use bus cards like this. I saved this one as an example. This was a day pass. It was 10 bucks and you could use it unlimited for that day. I brought a crap ton of tissues. Like I said, like you always need one wherever you go. I did use them. Um, yeah, something I always bring with me no matter where I go. So that is one full side of this suitcase. Now we are going to go into the other side. We brought lots of extra Ziploc baggies. We brought this size and then we brought a bigger size just to put anything that might have been wet or just want to separate things out. We did use quite a few of these. I brought purses and I didn't even use pretty much any of them. So I brought this purse thinking that this would carry a lot. It'd be perfect for if we were going somewhere for the day, whatever. And I never used it, not once. I didn't even touch this one. So I love this one, but I didn't even need it. I also brought this little money bag. Again, I didn't need it. Okay, so if you are sharing a room with somebody, I highly recommend something to put your toiletries, your bathroom products, something in. So this opens up into different compartments and I put all my toiletries, my bath stuff, teeth stuff, everything in here. And I put it away in a little cubby in the bathroom when I wasn't using it, that way, the countertop that you have is not full of stuff and the other person can put their stuff on there when they are using it. Um, I used this, my sister used a drawer in the bathroom and it worked out perfectly. Our countertop was never like cluttered with anything and it just kept things a little more organized and easy to find and easy to pack up at the end as well. This is the purse I used the entire trip. Other than the beach bag I showed you in the other suitcase, this was amazing. So like it wipes off, so any water, which water did get on this, um, they got on it, it was no big deal. A crossbody bag, you can also just use it as a clutch. It has the one compartment in here. I was able to put my phone, um, tissues, anything that I needed in that compartment. And then this front pocket in here, I always had my money, my bus cards, my ID, whatever I needed in there. This held everything I needed as far as a purse goes. I did pack a couple of shoes and I did want to kind of share with you a little bit of how I packed them. So I packed them all in some kind of plastic. Um, most of the time I use a 
hairnet or a plastic bag or something and that way once you've worn them and you repack them it keeps everything else in your suitcase clean. I packed these flip-flops here. I wore these often. I liked them. They were comfortable. I had already worn them in so these um, were great. I'm so glad I packed them. Another pair of flip-flops that I brought are these black flip-flops here that have hair on them. <laughs> um, and these are just more casual. I wore these to the beach um, or more, more casual out with more casual outfits and I wore these often as well. The shoes that I only wore um, on my travel days that I thought I was going to wear more but I didn't. Um, they were great for traveling but um, I probably could have gotten away with wearing something else so I probably didn't need these ones. These are the water shoes that I brought. They're from Land's End. And the size I got is eight and a half wide and they were perfect. They worked awesome. I used them maybe three or four times throughout my trip. Uh, they do get pretty sandy, so you do have to empty out the sand. The insert comes out and they are white. So I did use some dish soap to clean them out every time that I wore them. They're a little bit stained, but not too bad. Not as bad as I thought. Um, and yeah, these were perfect. I also used these as tennis shoes for when we went horseback riding and they worked perfectly for that as well. So it was multi-purpose. It wasn't just um, used for water shoe purposes. Last pair of shoes I brought, I only wore these once. I wore these when we went out to a fancy restaurant. Might not have needed these, but it did look nice, you know, when I went out. Um, so I brought these sandals, these brown sandals with some gold um, embellishment to them. It's an umbrella, specifically a shade umbrella, which is why we brought it because we thought there wasn't going to be as much huts or umbrellas out there to use. Um, and there was. They actually had doubled the amount that they had the time before when my mom had went. So I didn't even need this. I don't recommend bringing one. It barely even rains there. And if it does rain, it rains for like a minute and that's it. So... Don't bring an umbrella to Aruba. A couple more bags that I brought. Um, I brought this Aruba bag, which is something my mom had bought for us when she had went on a trip previous. I honestly didn't use it because I used my other beach bag and it would, that beach bag was easier to clean from all of the sand. So I didn't need it. Reusable bag for if we went shopping, but honestly at the airport, they give you a reusable bag. So take it when they offer it. I think it has coupons in it as well. And you can use it for whenever you go to the grocery store or whatnot, because you will have to buy one if you go to the grocery store without one. So I didn't need it. Um, and a lot of the shops gave you a bag. So just take the one at the airport that they hand out and you'll be fine. Well, that is everything in my second suitcase. That is everything that I packed with me on my Aruba trip. I hope you found this helpful, some tips and tricks within this and um, what I actually wore, what I didn't wear, uh, what was worth packing, what wasn't worth packing. Um, so if you are going to Aruba or a similar place, uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. All right, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Bye.